This video explains how to set reordering roles in Auto 13. Some products may have large scope in your market and we have to make sure that the product never runs out of stock. Auto allow us to set rules for this kind of product such that an automatic replenishment for those items is created. Let's create a reordering rule. Go to sales module. Here select a product first. I'm selecting my product shirt. So we have to create a reordering rule for this product. So I'm going here, reordering rule, creating. Here I set the product name shirt in the minimum quantity field. Insert the minimum quantity to which the system will trigger a new order. How much I am giving at then in the maximum quantity field. Insert the maximum amount of items that have to be in our stock while purchasing. I am giving it 100 and the quantity multiple is the lowest number of items can be ordered at once. So I'm giving it three. So here we can set our company purchase lead time. I'm giving zero and save it. So minimum quantity I set as 10. So let's look at our own hand. Our hand is nine. So when we trigger the RFQ will be sent to the this vendor Jackson group so let's trigger a reordering rule we can trigger the reordering rule here itself go to reordering rule here we can trigger or else you can go to our inventory and here we can run scheduler so when we go to the purchase order an RFQ is created here here an order of 93 quantities is requested as we set uh, as our minimum and maximum quantity and uh, in the base of multiple quantities so confirm the order and receive the products by validating it Go to the products. Here our hand can be seen as 102. This is how reordering rule is done in Odo. Thank you for watching. If you are interested in knowing more about this or looking for any Odo implementation or customization in your business, Drop your request to info at cybrosis.com.